Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, Mr. Keeping It Real. All right. It's spelled like it. R E E L. Yes, like a film like reel. Like a film reel. I think we all got it. <laughs> yeah, you guys, are, you guys are with it. You're hip. Uh, that one was submitted by Andy23. Thank you so much. You too can submit titles for Matthew by dropping them in the comments below. If you use hashtag title, it makes it so much easier for me to find. And of course, we have the most important person, Pippin. He's our cat. He's fluffy, he's wonderful, and he loves naps. He naps up here and he naps on the floor, so if he disappears, that's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello! What we're doing here is working our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Uh, that being said, I do know that this one is one of our Just Some Superfan Patreon picks. Mm -hmm. Do you like the dance? Yep, it's yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> um, what is the movie we're watching, though? Uh, today we are watching the 2013 biographical sports drama, Rush. Yeah, and as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go in with whatever you already know, then we watch the movie and review it. Mm -hmm. So, what do you know about Rush? Okay, it's not NASCAR. It's fast cars, though. <laughs> fast mean, cars. NASCARs are fast cars. Yeah, but I think that this <laughs> is like European NASCAR. Oh. So... <sighs> Pippin's going to just leave on that. Yep. He's you have gonna... insulted him. All right. <laughs> Amongst many people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Up or down, bud? Where are you going? It says, I sit right no, here. No, <laughs> that's not acceptable. <laughs> not... He has been a such a pill today. Come on. Good job. You're doing great. He's just, he's doing something. <laughs> Thor. Um, yeah, they go fast. I'm pretty sure that Thor is in this. Maybe Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Maybe Ricky. Hell, who's to say? Maybe Ricky Bobby. Why not? I don't know. It's about, it's about like a racing. It's about racing. Okay. The only other thing for first time viewers is you may see me with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards. And with that being said, I'm ready to watch. Okay. Vroom, vroom. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Cool shot. 25 drivers start every season in Formula One. I know him. Two of us die. What kind of person does a job like this? It is a dangerous sport. <laughs> People who are desperate to make a mark and are prepared to die try. Nope. My name is Niki Lauda. Oh. And racing people know me for two things. It's my rivalry with him. I don't know why it became such a big thing. We were just drivers, busting each other's balls. Okay. Oh! Vroom, vroom. The other thing I'm remembered for is what happened on 1st August 1976, when I was chasing him like an asshole. Like an asshole. I like his last name. Lauda. Six years earlier, okay. We all thought you'd been in an accident. Call a friendly disagreement with another driver an accident. Oh. <gasps> oh no! That's going to need a couple of stitches. It's a nasty cut. It was a nasty blow. Done with a bloody crowbar. Jesus! What did you do? Only what she asked me to do. Oh. Which was? I'd be happy to show you if you like. Oh! Get it, Natalie. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> I have a theory why women like racing drivers. It's our closeness to death. You see, the closer you are to death, the more alive you feel. My father is a stockbroker and my brother is an accountant. Well, I do this. <gasps> oh, titties! <laughs> but! But! This is a great movie! <laughs> Nothing to be worried about. Does it before every race. Good sign, actually. <laughs> stoked. Oh no! <laughs> Who's that? He's new. Some German. Some German. Austrian. <laughs> Can I say it? Men Nursey. love women. But even more than that, men love cars. 
Okay. But I like the soundtrack. I just see this and I'm like, so this is just really fast go-karts, huh? Mm, a little bit more powerful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 Thanks to your impeccable survival instincts. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. He looks like a rat, doesn't he? Oh, you leave him alone. He's doing all right. In my hometown, Vienna, my family is famous for one thing. Business. The name and Lauda findet man neben Politiker und Ökonomen. Fahne auf den Titelseiten. Behalt dein Geld. Oh. Investier nicht in mich. Aber wenn ich Weltmeister bin und auf dem Stockerl stehe und mein Name nicht ganz hinten in der Zeitung steht, sondern auf dem Cover, dann wirst du das bereuen. Oh, get it. I decided to risk everything and take out the loan myself. Found a Formula One team with an okay car and an owner who had run out of money and was willing to accept my terms. You don't want him to do what Lauda just did. Why, what did he do? Got himself a drive. Oh, how the hell did he do that? He's a nobody. And bought his way in with two million Austrian shillings. Oh, jeez. You're not the only one with balls. Good morning. Clay, let me introduce you to our number one driver, Clay Regazzoni. These are your mechanics reporting exclusively to you as per contract. As per contract? He seemed really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Hello? I love your mustache. You're doing great. Look at that thing. What horsepower are you getting? 490? No, no, 450. Well, it's not enough. It needs to be 500. And the engine needs to be 20 kilo lighter. We already tried. Oh. We replaced the entire exhaust system. Barely made a difference. Are you using magnesium parts? Ah ha ha ha! Didn't try everything. Now the engine block. Any mounting or fixing plates, strip it out also. When you've done that, you have to look at the aerodynamics. You're gonna poison your coffee, my dude. <laughs> Nah, they should be getting an idea that he's just not some rich boy plane yeah. driver. <laughs> What's his last name? Which one? R Regaz. Oh, Regazzoni. Regazzoni? Mm hmm I thought he said Rigatoni. That is not what his name is. Okay, now put him in my car and he go round two seconds faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. No, I don't understand. Why am I supposed to do this? I don't know, Clay. I just want you to take it for a spin. I love all the accents. They make me happy. <laughs> you thought you were getting the short end of the stick. You just got yourself a winner. What did you do to the car? That's information I will share with you under certain conditions only. Guaranteed place on the team and a paid contract on equal terms with Regazzoni for two years. Nice. Have a think, work out your priorities and get back to me. <laughs> He's a businessman. Dad, what do you say? She's Formula One. Yes, he is a superstar. We thought if we were going to be losing money, we might as well be doing it on the big roulette table in Formula One. You fat little inbred beauty. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no sponsorship, superstar. I hope you approve. No vulgar logos for cigarettes or condoms. I love it. Condom. Racing overalls, which read Sex Breakfast of Champions. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. And reports are reaching me that there has been a serious accident in qualifying, but it is the sight and sound of Formula One nobody likes to see. Terrible. I should cancel the race. Why? You made a mistake. It's his fault. So says the nobody who had to pay for his own drive. How's that working out for you, by the way? Fine. <laughs> Heading into the Grand Hotel hairpin, second gear, turning hard, looking for late apex gear. Flip the apex, light break, stay in second, looking for a good exit. I love this. Mm -hmm. Is Alexander around? 
He only wanted to show me his pride and joy. God, it's so flimsy. It's just a little coffin, really. Surrounded by high octane fuel in here, being driven around 170 miles per hour. For all intents and purposes, this thing's a bomb on wheels. Yeah, let's ride it. I've been told to avoid you. By whom? Alexander. He says you're a bad boy. Oh. Alexander mm. doesn't know what he's talking about. I was. I'm not anymore. I mean, I used to be. I still am, but I used to be too. <laughs> they want me to stop messing around, settle down, get married with the next nice girl I meet. They think it would be good for me. What do you think? Sounds fucking awful. <sighs> you don't fancy getting married, do you? Wow. Wow. What a way to start a relationship. Wow. Ah, you look dumb in a hat. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm getting next. Oh, no. I didn't want to ruin your day. It's the crowd. Oh, what about him? He's just been signed by Ferrari. <gasps> wow. It's terrible. Drives like a pig. Huh? Oh, you can't say that. <laughs> It's amazing, all these facilities and you make a piece of crap like this. <laughs> wow. Uh. No! <laughs> the balls! What we do, it's, it's, it's passion, love. Which is why we are prepared to risk our lives for it. You not me. If I had more talent and could earn better money with something else, I would. <laughs> well, you know you will make money here. Yeah? You haven't yet. Not yet, but I will. If you can, I can. <laughs> I brought you along today because you seem like a lonely kind of guy. I thought if I introduce you to some nice people, that could rub off on you. Forget it. Make your own friends. You're gonna do fine, I'm sure. Are you leaving? Can you give me a lift to the nearest town? You hear that noise when you accelerate? No. Your fan belt is loose. And when you brake, your foot goes all the way down. Which means there's air in the system. Anything else? No. <laughs> How can you tell? My ass. <laughs> Sorry? God gave me an okay mind, but the really good ass which can feel everything in a car. <laughs> Just had a service a week ago. This car's as good as new. Please break down. Please break down. <laughs> Ow! As good as new. Come, see, lassen Sie mich das machen. Dann stehen wir morgen noch hier. Schließlich sind wir in Italien. Oh. Oh, okay. Ciao, ragazzi. Buongiorno, signora. Mi scusi, ma tu sei nekila. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Sta portando la macchina del mio nonna, capito? Capito, il nekilaura. Non vedo l'ora quando andiamo da Mario. Ma tu vedi, Laura. Nekilaura. Will someone please tell me what's going on? Who are you? Should I know you? He's a Nicky Lauda, Formula One driver, <laughs> and he just designed it with a Ferrari. Him. Uh, has... Him. Anyway, look at the way he's driving like an old man. There's no need to drive fast. It increases the percentage of risk. We're not in a hurry. I'm not being paid. Right now, with zero incentive or reward, why would I drive fast? Because I'm asking you to. <gasps> oh! Uh-huh. Careful what you wish for. Nah. She's exhilarated. Come on, Nikki. That's got a problem. Huh? Pulls across to the left. Now he goes ahead on his own. Whee! The checkered flag is waiting for Lauda and for Ferrari. Yeah! The title going to Nikki Lauda, who wins the race, who wins the world championship. Wow. He's really awesome. Hmm? He's really awesome. Oh, wait. You can't hear me? No. Let me say it louder. He's oh, okay. awesome. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Good job. With a car like that, the rest of us never missed a chance, did we? But equal terms, the way it was in Formula 3, I'd beat you and you know it. Never. Right, why is that? Because I'm a serious guy. Yes, you're very well behaved. Go to work, kick ass, and then after the race I go home. You should go home often too. I heard you got married. You know, I've never seen you with her once. No. Hmm. Well, maybe that's because you're always at home, on your own, looking after yourself, being a, a good little boy. Take a drink on me, James. Thank you, Nikki. I might just have two. Maybe be careful, James. 
the hell's going on? It's the deadline for securing sponsorship for the forthcoming Formula One season. So we, we, we aren't looking for sponsorship. Except we are. Or were. Hmm. What are you saying? Oh, you sweet dummy. Everything is over, superstar. The banks have stepped in, started laying everyone off. Probably have to sell this place. Oh, wow. I need a drive, Pete. I need you to find me a drive. Well. They felt your reputation preceded you. Yep. And what does that mean? It means they don't want to be liable for a reckless driver. Why don't we go away at the weekend? Skiing. Don't make a stranger of me. Susie, only a stranger would invite me skiing. When they know I haven't got a fucking drive. I just hoped I'd married someone who was half as impressive on the inside as he is on the outside. Oh. At least there's something behind the facade. Oh. There must be a moisturizer or eyeshadow somewhere that needs your vapid mush to flog it. Wow. It's easy to accuse others of what we see in ourselves. Put that on a fortune cookie. <laughs> what do you want, a driver or a brush salesman? You really think you can beat him? I'd beat him in a McLaren. It's the only car out there as quick as the Ferrari. Look, I'll do whatever you ask. I'll, I'll put on a tie. I'll smile for sponsors, say the right things. Just give me the drive. In terms of raw talent and, and, and right stuff, there is no better driver in the world. Just imagine if you could take all that raw talent and like mold it into something, you know? Reliable. Oh. oh. We should take a vacation. Yes, we should. <laughs> Level playing field now, my ratty little friend. Yeah. Let's see where we are after lap one. Laura. Ha 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 ha. I don't know why, but I love Nikki. Like. Okay. This movie would have been great to see in a theater with the sound design. Hunt wins. Okay. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> it's too wide. Disqualified. What? Oh. The cars have to be to exact specifications. Wow. So did he lose the win? Or was that the next race? And with Hunt disqualified from his Spain win, his championship year is not Okay, so it was the Spain. Oh my gosh. Can you tell us what happened? Sure, it's magic. We've taken a great car, a great piece of engineering, and overnight turned it into a big, huge, stinking turf. Oh, you said that. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. But it was a good race for you, no, Nikki. It's good for everyone that the quickest car happens to be a legal car. Oh, <laughs> Nikki! Just got a little problem with an Austrian wrath and his team of Italian cheats who've destroyed my car. Cheats? How? It's pathetic. Rules are rules. Yes. And rats are uh, rats. Thank you. Oh. You child. <laughs> Do you really think it upsets me, James? Calling me a rat? Because I look like one? I you don't mind it. Don't look like a rat. Rats are ugly, sure. And nobody likes them. But they're very intelligent. And they have a strong survival instinct. Well, here they come. That's what it throttled. No wonder she left him. Oh. She's supposed to be here today. We uh, <laughs> didn't want to tell you before the race. So when did all this start? That weekend I went skiing. <sighs> hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Oh. Does that make you feel any better? I don't think it does. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's crazy as fuck. Okay. Okay. James, at the moment you've got a terrific edge over the rest of the field. How have you achieved this advantage? Big balls. Must dich warnen. Es sind nicht meine Stärken. Blumen kaufen, Handel halten, 
Wahrscheinlich werde ich sogar deinen Geburtstag vergessen. Aber wenn ich das jetzt tue, dann nur mit dir. Might as well. How romantic. I mean, is that okay? I mean, I guess if that's what you want. Titties. I saw some boobs in Ibiza. <laughs> Sorry. The worst pick is like, oh, I was mama. Like, Shut up. <laughs> Was ist mit dir? Hast du das Glück gesagt, Feind? Schwächt dich. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit! Vicky, ein Autogramm bitte. Mit Datum bitte. Mit Datum? Warum? Ja, man weiß ja nie, es könnte das letzte sein. <gasps> really? Yeah, some people just don't have any sense. Welcome to the Nürburgring, the most dangerous circuit on the season calendar. Oh. In Formula One, it is known as the graveyard. Jesus! As all you drivers know, the Nürburgring, dangerous track in the world. Now today with the rain, is anything but perfect. Should I call this meeting to take a vote to cancel the race? It means that you would effectively win the championship. Maybe he's just frightened. Yes, of course I'm frightened. I accept every time I get in my car, there's 20% chance I could die. And I can live with it, but not 1% more. And today with the rain, the risk is small. I suppose that all depends on how good you are in the rain. That does never... Fine. Then let's race. All those in favor of cancelling the race. It's like, why put extra danger on yourself? All those in favor of racing. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is how where it started, right? Yep. Okay. I'm good. Wish I had seen this in theaters. I probably would have been like, I don't know, too much. Like <laughs> James Hunt side by side on the side. Oh lord. Oh, it's too early for that, boys. Calm down. Come on! What's going on? Oh no. It's a disaster! Come on! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding? <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nicky Lauda. Due to safety concerns before the race, the Austrian had said he would not take part, but in the end he did. Nicky Lauda was trapped for almost a minute in a searing inferno of 800 plus degrees. Jesus. Hallo? Er ist aufgewacht, er hat gesprochen. Er hat dem Priester gesagt, er soll sich verpissen. <laughs> the person fuck up, I'm alive! <laughs> Watching this is literally adding insult to injury. Like, come on. Vacuum the law. Mm. 
No, baby. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, baby. What's going on? Jesus, it's Nicky. What about him? He's here. He's racing. What? There was a driver's meeting in Germany. Uh, before the race, I swayed the room. Yes, you did. That race should never have gone ahead. No, it no, shouldn't. shouldn't. So in many ways, I feel responsible for what happened. And... You were. But trust me, watching you win those races while I was fighting for my life, you were equally responsible for getting me back in the car. <clears throat> when they heard about your condition, Ferrari immediately hired a replacement driver. Yep. Before even reaching the hospital. James Hunt and McLaren have caught up a lot while you were away. Yes. So, is there a question now? Or are you <laughs> just trying to piss me off? <laughs> and what did your wife say when she saw your face? She said, uh, sweetie, you don't need a face to drive, you just need the right foot. <sighs> I'm being serious. Do you really think your marriage can survive with the way you look now? What the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm being serious too. Fuck you. Is it? Some people just don't have any sense. Oh, that's the game. Are you alright? Good, yeah. Listen, I think I've got something for you on that last question. About Nikki? Have you heard about that? <laughs> okay. okay. Now go home to your wife and ask her how you look. Jesus Christ! And some people just need to have the sense of beating into them. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that was cool. I like that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. to find the form that early in this race we believed he'd lost. Lauda closing on Carlos Reutemann, the man called in to be his replacement <laughs> in the Ferrari team. Get fucked! And there's James Hunt's McLaren, smoking stationary by the side of the road. Oh. Ronnie Peterson, who comes home the winner here at Monza, but all eyes are on the man who finishes a brilliant form, Nicky Lauda! So the long, grueling, and incredibly dramatic season comes down to this final race in Japan. Nikki Lauda goes into this deciding race at Fuji, just three points ahead of James Hunt. Do you think you can cope with the pressure? Well, I've never really understood what that means. <laughs> Intermittent heavy mm. rain has been forecast here at Fuji today, along with strong winds and occasional fog rolling in from the mountain. This movie is beautiful. Like... Mm-hmm. The cinematography is st stupid great. I've got to cancel the race. It's lethal out there. The race is going oh. ahead. Television rights have been sold all around the world. Mm. This, this is insane. How are you doing? They'll let the condensation out. It'll also let the water in. Not if you're leading. Jesus, it's not nerve wracking. <sighs> the music is so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck no, ain't no way. There's no way. Just gonna say, can they actually move? They're just gonna spin out for a while. Oh wow! In these conditions, it must be almost impossible to drive a 450 horsepower car. Yep, I was gonna say, there's people gonna be wrecking out of the damn start. Hunt comes through to complete his first lap, leading the field. At least he has clear vision in front of him. Nicky Lido behind him, eating his spray. Yeah, like how do you even? is slowing. 
Nicky Lauda is bringing the Ferrari number one into the pit. Some sort of problem. We no problem. I just don't want to die. What are you doing? I'm, I'm not racing in this. You want me to say there's a problem with the car for the media? No. No. Tell them the truth. That everybody out there is a fool. With Lauda out, James Hunt knows he has to finish this race in third place or higher to be world champion. Mario, James oh shit. James Hunt seems to have a problem. Oh shit. Shit. Oh my god. James, come on! Listen, what? Just go easy out there. <laughs> Has he ever? Fuck it. James Hunt rejoins the race in six. Ever the renegade. Oh, don't do it, James. He's gonna do it. show Hunt in third place. Well, if the scoreboard's right, it means he's just missed out on the champion. Oh, Crushing man. defeat for Hunt after such a heroic drive. Like, was it heroic? That was crazy. Like... Mm, there's a fine line. Get you out of there, buddy. I'm sorry, Teddy. I'm sorry. I thought I could make sorry, up Sorry, what are you talking about? You did it. Did what? <laughs> you crazy bastard. You came third. You got the points. You're champion of the world. Really? Wow. Wow. Champion of the world. <laughs> and new world champion, James Hunt, by just one single point. Okay. Congratulations. Tell us, James, what are you going to do now? I shall be getting drunk. Cheers. He gets good. He gets good. Spoilings. Yep. Gunnings. Oh. <laughs> Baloney, Italy. <laughs> Nicky. Good to see you. I heard you were spending more and more time in one of these. Do you play? <laughs> no. I don't think they'd ensure me. <laughs> it's good for discipline. You have to stay within the rules, stick to regulations, suppress the ego. It helps with the racing. <laughs> there I was thinking you were about to wax lyrical about the romance of flight. No. No. So bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I didn't just win the biggest thing in my life so I could get right back to work. Clear is that you? I won. Okay, and the all important day when it came down to it, we raced on equal terms. And I put my life on the line and I saw it through. And you call that winning? Yes. <laughs> you were prepared to die. To me, that's losing. Yes, I was. I mean, hell, is, isn't that what we're in this for? To stare death in the face and, and to cheat it? Like, come on, there's nobility in that. It's, it's like being knights. No. You English, you're such assholes. <laughs> you know, in hospital, the toughest part of my treatment was the vacuum. And while doing it, I was watching television. That bastard hunt, I would say. I hate that guy. And then one day, the doctor came and said, Mr. Lauda, stop thinking of it as a curse to have been given an enemy in life. A wise man gets more from his enemies than a fool from his friends. <laughs> I need you busting my balls. Get back to work. <laughs> I will, Nicky, I will. But I intend to enjoy myself first. Well, some of life needs to be for pleasure. And what's the point of having a million cups and medals and, and planes if you don't have any fun? And how's that winning? Fair enough. Two different but equally understandable philosophies. Yeah. Maybe if y'all could meet in the middle. Hey, you look good, Nicky. The only guy to have his face burnt off and it be an improvement. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> of course he didn't listen to me. For James, one world title was enough. He had proved what he needed to prove. When I heard he died aged 45 of a heart attack, I wasn't surprised. I was just sad. People always think of us as rivals, but he was among the very few I liked. Oh. And even fewer that I respected. Hmm. He remains the only person I envied.
Ron Howard, of course. Okay. It's all coming together now. <laughs> Sorry. The music is amazing. Yeah, the music was good. We'll get to that. Uh, so that was Rush. Yep. Overall thoughts? Aptly named. Aptly named. Mm -hmm. Um, can't believe they didn't put Ron Howard, or maybe I missed it. I did not see it in the beginning credits because I was just sitting here thinking like this, like the, the whole time, the cinematography is absolutely stunning. Like the, the color, the tone of everything, how things shift depending on like what's going on. Um, yeah. the quick cuts that are so well done. I, I mean, a beautiful Mm -hmm. beautiful movie also there was beautiful men in it and that's always great you know <laughs> and ladies and ladies um titties oh my gosh <laughs> wow I... <sighs> no <laughs> oh cover your shame <laughs> he's like, I, he's like shame. I don't have any shame what you talking about i don't about? know this word james also had no shame mm -hmm. i i don't know if y'all picked up on it but Nikki was the hero in my eyes. Okay. Like, um, James just, bless his heart, I just don't know how to not go, you know? And that makes me nervous. And I was concerned for him. And then the very end when, when he said, when I heard that he had a heart attack, I wasn't surprised. I was just sad. That got me. Yeah. That was rough. Um, yeah, the movie doesn't, uh, I've seen this movie. That's probably like, Fifth or sixth time. Oh, wow. Movie. Yeah. I enjoy this movie quite a bit. Uh, spoiler alert. Because <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the same way with just movies in general, how I like the behind the scenes mm -hmm. things. Uh, sports. I've always all, also liked like the the story behind like great sports moments mm -hmm. that lead up to them. Uh, like growing up, I always used to watch ESPN Classic mm -hmm. and they would always have like either like these kind of like documentary type episodes. 30 for 30s. Yeah, something like that, but it was before 30 for 30 okay. came out. Uh, but the same kind of thing. Like I, I've always enjoyed that, just the story behind those those moments, those rivalries and things like that. I've seen the Michael Jordan one talking about like- Yeah, Last he, Dance. Yeah, Last Dance, that was amazing. And then we watched one that was like Larry Bird and- Oh yeah, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Yeah, that one was really good, so I like that. Celtics and the Lakers. Yep. Anyway. I just love Nikki. I loved his whole approach. I, he looked at it as his business, you know? And yeah. he said it. He was like, if I was better at something I could make more money at it, I'd do that instead. I was like, all right, dude. All right. I like, <laughs> I like your very straightforwardness. Like, but this is what I'm good at, and I'm good. I'm going to be the best at it Yeah, I can be, which is a great, great philosophy. Yeah. Whatever it is you're doing, do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. But to a limit. Because yeah. I really, really appreciated the safety aspect that he focused on. You know, the 20%, then that's <laughs> nothing more. It's like, I'm fine with that. I can live with that, but not 1% more. Yeah. I can understand. And I, I, the plane conversation was their whole relationship, like, summed up yeah. in, a, in a short period of time. Him talking about like James talking about like we're we're like knights and like no you're yeah. not no. <laughs> There's got to be some enjoyment to this and like you got to enjoy the. He enjoys being like pushing to the limits yeah. and, and like being on the edge and living life to its fullest. It's like like I said, they have two very different differing. philosophies, but equally understandable. Uh, understandable to a point. Like I, I James, I couldn't I couldn't understand like actively actively putting your life on the line for a sport like that isn't that's wild Again, to it's, me that's kind of like uh adrenaline junkies yeah like like he said in the very beginning the closer to death you are the more you feel alive yeah so it's that's a philosophy that will never occur for me <laughs> riding that line it's getting right up to it and trying to maybe dip a toe over like he said you know staring death in the face and cheating it yeah i don't know about like their actual i have no understanding or, or background on their their actual story uh but if everything that was presented was pretty much true i think they did a phenomenal job of telling the story 
it was mostly true. Okay. As as with any like mm-hmm. biographical movie or based on a true event, so you kind of had to take with a grain of salt because they always take creative liberties mm-hmm. and license to, you know, it's storytelling. But yeah. this was, it was pretty true to form because even in the beginning in, with Nicky Lauda's uh, Daniel Brule, his voiceover where he's saying it was just two guys busting balls, it was a, people made it a bigger deal than it was. Mm-hmm. They were actually pretty good friends in real life. Oh, okay. And like, I mean, they even, uh, they shared, they lived together at one point. Okay, so, that's a big so I, departure. <laughs> so I think that's where they kind of took some creative license and made it more about the rivalry. Mm-hmm. But like I said, his voiceover in the beginning even said, he's like, it was just two guys racing cars. Like, And he said in real life, like, yeah, we competed and we were rivals, but we were friends. Yeah, well, regardless. It, it wasn't as contentious. Gotcha. The, the story was awesome. The, the, the story that was presented was amazing. The camera work that was done on this movie was breathtaking like the up close shots the like in in the in the helmet cams and like i don't know you you saw things from like all manner of angles and i just yes, really felt much that. closer than than like an experience of just watching a race on tv because mm-hmm. you can't really get a sense of perspective you know, and like, like the speed mm-hmm. and like what like what's really going on but the movie did a very good job of presenting and translating what's actually happening for the racers to you, like giving you that feeling, mm-hmm. which that is, rush. Which was why, like the 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 Fuji, right? No, absolutely not, absolutely not. The, uh, this is a phenomenal movie. I want to know more. Give me them notes. <laughs> oh. uh, as you said, it's directed by Ron Howard. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've actually. We did two other of his movies on the channel, Apollo 13 and Willow. Uh, you've seen two other of his movies that we watched before the channel, uh, Splash and Solo, A Star Wars Story. Mm-hmm. So speaking of Ron Howard and movies we've seen of his and this movie, uh, he said that this movie, when it they did a pre-release screening at the German Grand Prix. Oh, okay. So it was for F1 drivers, uh, team bosses, you know, industry people, mm-hmm. people that are in the industry they know this story yeah and he said this was his like biggest and toughest reality test since he had to screen apollo 13 for astronauts oh yeah uh but with that being said it got a very 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 uh warm reception and got a standing ovation they all loved it and approved of it yeah uh nikki lauda loved the movie oh when he when he first saw Daniel Brule on screen, he was quoted as saying, shit, that's me. Like, <laughs> because you saw some, some real, yeah, the real yeah. clips. Uh, you can pull up some pictures stuff. They are very, like casting was yeah. on point yeah. for both Nikki Lauda and James Hunt. Yeah, because like James Hunt, like I absolutely was like, okay, yeah, they sold, sold it. Yeah. Casting was great. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Ron Howard was very keen to uh, hire uh, Chris Hemsworth, because he said he was basically a rock star on wheels. I mean, <laughs> he's yeah. like he he was he's like he fit the vibe of James Hunt. Yeah, this was made after the first Avengers movie. Chris Hemsworth had to lose thirty pounds uh, for um, this one. Okay, yeah, <laughs> for, yeah, because he did like uh, when he when he took off his shirt for the got stabbed or hit with the crowbar or whatever. Like, I was like, wow, he's like much more slim. Yeah. Like, he's still. Cut, yeah, he's shredded. very cut, very <laughs> cut. But, like, I was like, oh, God, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, and speaking of things the actors did for their roles, Daniel Brule had to wear a. Uh, only thing he really had to do was wear a dental appliance to give him, like, the overbite. Mm-hmm. He spent, uh, I think, a month in Vienna with a uh, dialect coach to get okay. the Austrian accent down. Uh, another thing that helped is that Daniel Brule and Nikki Lauda became pretty good friends. And, like even to the point where Nikki Lauda, who <laughs> had he was a pilot as well, oh, okay, okay, and he owned like airlines. He even flew Daniel Brule to a Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. Oh my God, like, that's cr- I like love when that. I say flew, I mean he piloted. He piloted, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> well, really, one of the only other notes I have is that. Nicky Lauda said that he loved the movie and his only he only wished that James was still around to see it because he knew he would have loved it as well. Yeah. Mm. Woof. 
you saying that kind of ties into the end of the movie there. Normally I can hold it together until that last voiceover from Daniel Brewer as Nicky Lauda talking about he was one of the few I liked and even <laughs> even fewer that I respected. Yeah, yeah. That's normally, like I said, I've seen this, that's probably my fifth or sixth time watching it. That's usually where it gets me. Every time. That and the amazing music, the the score is so good. Care to take a guess at who did it? Um, I don't know. Hans? Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're on a first name basis, don't worry. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> yes, Hans Zimmer did the music. Uh, I'm a big fan of Zimmer. He... I don't know something about his his soundtracks his themes he captures really. a tone of a movie so well and it yeah. just it, something something about his his way he composes his music it just uh, hits me on an emotional level like it reverberates with your like with your with your whole being most of the time uh but is there any other thing you wanted to talk about about the movie in particular i mean y'all if you haven't seen this watch it and if you have yeah. an opportunity to watch it with like surround sound, yeah, that's the only other note. I kind of, I said it I probably two or three times in the movie. Whenever like the engines were revving, and everything is like, I wish I had seen this in theaters. Yeah, like I can't imagine. We have to watch it in headphones because, like, obviously for yeah, recording audio purposes. purposes. Um, but I cannot imagine what this would have been like in theaters. Oh, like, I would have loved it. So I think that's about it. You want to go ahead and give it a rating? Yeah. Um, I'm going to give this one a nine. This one's a nine. If I knew more about Formula One racing and cared, you know, about the sport, I probably would have rated it a 10. Uh, but the, the the racing aspect was a little bit lost on me, like the the, the what behind it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but everything else about it, nine. What about nine. you? Same. Nine. Okay. okay. You know what? Oh, one other note I just thought of. That journalist that asked that question. Yeah. Uh, that that was an actual question yes. that was asked. Yes. And Nikki Lauda said that was the greatest insult he's ever suffered in his life. I mean, what is wrong with you? Like, the James Hunt actually. I don't know about the that shit part. Out of him. In my head canon, he did because okay. that dude deserved it. Kind of hope he did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, nine for me as well. Sorry, okay. I just thought of that. Nope. I'm, 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 I'm Pippin. Pippin, I'm gonna get your beans. No, give me them beans. Give me them beans. Also, give me your score. What would you rate this one? I can't hear you. Gotta speak up. Say it louder. I'm sorry. No. Is that I gonna be your running joke I can't for the next one? I'm now. sorry. I'm sorry. No. What? Ten beans? Ten super fast beans? Zoom! He said 10 zoom beans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this bitch is always putting words in my mouth. I didn't mm -hmm. say none of that. Yeah, so that's it. Nine for me, nine for you, mm -hmm. 10 something beans. Guys, if y'all enjoyed this one, let us know if you have any behind the scenes information. If you are uh, an avid Formula One fan and you know like something that we missed that's oh, like I'm really sure. important to the. Sure, I missed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, let us know. I, I, I'm very curious. Um, has some have the, some of the safety aspects changed to Formula One? I did one. see that uh, that normally it was like it's an open car, but mm -hmm. now they have this uh, what they call a halo system, okay. which is basically kind of like their version of a uh, roll cage, reinforced roll cage. Okay. It's basically kind of like a wishbone uh, above the driver's head that connects and comes around and then connects down to the front. Okay. So if they do like hit or roll, it will. It will, okay. the, that will give a little extra cushioning to like protect their head. Gotcha. Well, that's good at least. Um, but yeah, y'all let us know if you have any behind the scenes or uh, additional information. What did you think about the movie? Did you enjoy it? If you liked the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I think that's going to be it from us unless you have anything else. Nope. Pippin's good. already back asleep. Mm -hmm. Y'all take care and we will see you next time with another first time.